Hi CMH friends, I'm Ramona Williams here at Children's Museum Houston outside by Eco Station and Flow Works. Thank you for joining me today for our activity. Today we're going to do an activity called Feed Me Letters. Okay, so here are the supplies that you'll need. Construction paper, scissors, marker, glue, tape, an empty tissue box, and letters. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is cut us a strip of the construction paper, about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And if it ends up being too wide for the piece of the box that you select, then you can always cut it to fit. Okay, so this is gonna be for our strip. It's not too straight, but that's okay. Now I'm going to make a ghost. You can make any type of, you can make an animal, you can um, make whatever your toddler or your kid is interested in. So I'm just gonna cut this into the shape of a ghost. And you know what, I did mine um, similar to the one on the old Pac-Man game. And so that's what my inspiration was. So I'm gonna start here. Oh, let me say this too. It's important, well, to go ahead and measure the top of your box and I'll show you in a second so you know that you are. So here's my box. This is the opening of the box. So yeah, my ghost fits perfectly on there. You can cut it to size or it can hang over, whatever makes you happy. I'm going to cut really quickly the bottom. So that part is simple. You can see my ghost starting to take shape. Now I'm gonna draw some eyes and a nose just to give my ghost a little character. Making sure that I leave some room for the mouth because I need to cut an opening. Looks like he is looking for something. So here's my ghost. I'm gonna fold it in half. I may be a little off on my uh, circle, but we'll make it work. Okay, so I'm going to cut my circle. I might cut my nose off too. If I do, we'll do another nose. Guess what? We're already ready to eat some letters. Now I'm gonna bring my box back in, place my ghost over it, and here you can see you have your opening. And next, Take your glue stick or your glue, whatever you have, and just go liberally around the edge of it. If you don't have a tissue box, you can actually use like a cereal box, anything that is a box that you can create an opening. I prefer this tissue box because guess what? It already has an opening there for me. So here we go. First part is done. And next, this is what we need to do. We need to make a slit here so that our letters can go through. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I am going to open my tissue box and hopefully it is nice to me. So I'm gonna open my tissue box. There we go, okay. So that way I can place a cut here in the middle. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is the bottom of it. I'm just going to cut because we want to slide our letters through here. I'm gonna show you in a second what it looks like. So now you see we have an area where the letters will be able to slide through and you'll see a little window for them, okay? Now, we're about to wrap this up. All right, so taking your strip that we cut just a few minutes ago, and you're gonna give it about an inch and a half from the beginning of the strip, and you're going to put your letters. You can do alphabetical order, or you can mix them up. Now you can, um, we're gonna stop, we're gonna stop at G here. And then of course you would make another strip to go and finish out. You may actually even have to make three strips. So you're going to insert it. 
like this, okay? Close this down. Once you get your strip inside, you're going to tape it down on the inside, all of your flaps, and that way it just looks like you have a view of each letter as you pull it through, okay? So this is actually our project. If you want to, I put a little message that said, feed me letters on here. I think that would be super cute. You can even write your child's name, say, hey, Madison, feed me letters. And then they know this is where your letters will go in. All right, so we'll be right back with a friend to show you feed me letters. Okay, friends, that is all I have for today. Thank you for joining me for Feed Me Letters. I had fun, and thank you to Emma for playing our Feed Me Letters activity. Make sure you try it at home. I'm about to go feed this go some more letters. I think it's a little hungry. See you guys later, bye-bye.